Thanks for joining us here on 90s Plus. I'm meteorologist Chris Bianchi. And now we're going to take a look back at the month of September, which once again was an exceptionally warm month of September for us here in Denver. We're going to get some of those final numbers for the state of Colorado here in the next few days as well. But specifically here in Denver, it was one of the warmest Septembers on record. But fortunately, unlike last year, we also had a fair bit of moisture and we had about an inch and a quarter worth of rainfall. And that's certainly helping on out with some of those immediate drought concerns. And again, I'll get into more of that here in just a second. But take a look back here on the month of September and what we saw specifically here in Denver. We an average monthly temperature. Now that factors in our daytime highs, our daytime lows, your average temperature throughout the day. We had an average temp of 69 degrees here in Denver. That made it our third warmest September on record, only trailing 2015 and 2019, and only by a little bit, uh, by less than a half degree of both of those months. And this is something we've talked about repeatedly um here on 90s plus and throughout uh, nine news as well is that the month of september is the month here in colorado where i think it's safe to say that we're feeling the effects of climate change more than any other month september has simply turned into an extension of summer um look at the past you know you look at those four years there you look at the top 10 list nine of them are from the last 15 20 years or so um there is a notable warming trend during the month of september and it's not just the average daytime high, daytime low. How about this? We had 10 days at 90 degrees or above during the month of September uh, this past uh, this past month. Um, so 10 of the 30 days were at 90 degrees or above. That is a new record. Our previous record was nine days at 90 or above um, in the month of September, and now we're at 10 after our most recent month. Uh, we almost hit 100 degrees a couple times. You might remember that during the first and second weeks of the month of September, we hit 99 three different times in the month of September. Um, again, just kind of going to reinforce the point that September is now merely an extension of summer here along the Front Range. And by the way, this follows our third warmest summer on record. So uh, we had a very warm summer, very warm September. And one bit of good news, though. So yes, it was very, very warm. I think you've gotten that point at this level. But what we did pick up here in the month of September was a fair bit of rainfall, and we kind of got it fairly evenly distributed throughout the month. It wasn't necessarily one big rainstorm, for example, that led to 1.25 inches worth of rainfall, and it didn't get us anywhere near this top five wettest September's list. But notice on the top right-hand side of your screen, the average monthly rainfall in Denver uh, for the month of September, 1.35 inches worth of rainfall. We were at 1.25. We're basically there. We had about an average September rainfall month, which is good news. Um, when we get towards the end of summer, this is the time of year when we tend to get the most moisture. Um, usually it's uh, April, May, June, July, and August, and September that are what a six months of the year. So when we're getting what we need during the month of September, that is good news, uh, simply because uh, colder air can hold less moisture. So during the winter months, we tend to get less overall precipitation. So you might remember back to the conditions that led up to the Marshall Fire. Uh, what we had over the last six months of 2021 was we just had a bone dry stretch. We had 1.2 inches of total rainfall uh, over those six months. Last month alone, we picked up more rain than what we saw over the final six months of 2021 uh, combined. So again, uh, it's, I would say, a fairly notable bit of good news. And plus, the month of October has started on a fairly wet note as well. Now, going back to what we were talking about with September being an extension of summer, uh, some of you who've been here for a long time might remember that it used to snow on a fairly regular basis here in the Denver area and uh, even the lower elevations here of Colorado. Um, we picked up measurable snowfall exactly once in the last 21 years here, and that includes now 2022, which finished with no measurable snowfall, of course. And in fact, how about this here in Denver? We did not get a temperature below 42 degrees during the entire month of September. Normally, our average first temperature at or below uh, 40 degrees is during the third or fourth week of September. So normally it's around September the 20th that we pick up our first average low temperature below um, 40 degrees, but we didn't get there or anywhere. Frankly, we got down to 42. That was our coldest temperature of the month. Um, we didn't get you know, anywhere that close down to the 30s. And it looks like that's going to stay that way over the next seven days as well. So um, going back and looking back on September, again, we'll get some of those uh, statewide numbers here in the next week or so. But in Denver specifically, it was our third warmest September on record, 
most 90 degree days on record for the month of September. Um, it was a fairly, it was an average wet month, but uh, good news there is kind of fairly well distributed. We picked up a quarter inch at the end of the month, picked up about a quarter inch in the middle of the month, picked up a quarter inch at the beginning of the month. Um, again, it's fairly well distributed, which is good news, helping us kind of eat into the drought a little bit. And of course, once again, we didn't pick up any measurable snowfall, making it the 20th September of the last 21 without measurable snowfall. Again, um, going back to the overarching point, one of the reasons why I really wanted to kind of delve into the month of September specifically is that September has very, very clearly in the last 20, 30 years, um, likely as a result of climate change, become simply an extension of summer. September is the month that feels um, uh, climate change perhaps more than any other month of the year here in Denver and throughout the state of Colorado. And last month, pretty uh, obvious proof of that with a very warm and also um, snowless month for most of the state and uh, certainly for us here in Denver along the front range. So hopefully that goes to kind of look back on the month of September. I'm um, looking ahead to October does look to be fairly mild and fairly dry, but on the bit of good news there, we've started the month of October on a wet note with almost half an inch of rain over the first three days of the month. So that's some good news. So hopefully it gives you an idea about what we saw in September and also a bit more of broader con context about why September's in Denver get a little bit more attention than maybe other months do.